Hey everybody, Mike here from Seatown Gaming, and as I promised in my Q and A video, I'm back and I'm going to do the three videos that I um, that were requested. And one of the three was a drop shipping video, so I'm going to discuss that now. Um, I will say I've been very busy this week, and I will continue to be busy because I got all of my wholesale goods in. So I just finished listing two night all of my previous wholesale stuff, which was Minecraft related. And now tomorrow morning I'm getting a shipment of comic book related stuff. So I'm going to be really busy. I'll try to make these in my free time. Um, but let's discuss drop shipping. So first of all, what is drop shipping? It is essentially where you play the role of a middleman. And how that works is you get a product from a company. Like they give you the pictures and the description. And say you list it on eBay. Now you can charge whatever you want. And when the item sells, you forward that sale to the drop shipper. And what they do is they package and ship the item from their facility and they, they charge you a flat rate. So let's say you had a product you put up for $20. Well, they charge you $19 if it sells. So you send them $19 and you keep the $1 and they do the rest. So just like that, you made a dollar. And in theory, it sounds really good, but there's a lot of small issues that can be caused because of it. So it's definitely a tough route to make a lot of money. The main issue with drop shipping is pretty simple. You're not in control of packaging and shipping. You're not of con you're not in control of customer com communications. Like you can't, you know, <clears throat> tell the customer you're out of stock because you're going to find out late. So, say they're out of stock for something, it could be a two or three day turnaround before you find out. And now you go and tell that customer, and you look like an idiot because it took so long, and now they're angry. So, there's a lot of other issues. Especially if things get damaged, they get lost, they're out of stock. You don't really have control over these. So um, it puts you in a bad position and it's a really easy way to get bad feedback if you don't have a good drop shipper. With that being said, if you have a good drop shipper and someone you can rely on that's giving you good prices and you can make a decent profit margin, it can be a great route to make your business look way bigger than it is. It looks like you have all these products on hand to your customers while in you know reality you have a completely empty room which is really cool, but it has to be managed very well. And it's something that could be either detrimental or very useful. Um, if you're a newer seller, I would not suggest it. It's not something that's easy to keep up with. You have to constantly check stock levels on eBay um, for your listings. And you got to check stock levels with the drop shipper. Not to mention there's a ton of emails and stuff you got to send constantly. It's, it's a lot of hard work for not that much profit. And you have little control over some of the situations. So if you're newer, I wouldn't suggest it. But it can be a great tool for making your business look bigger than it is and making some extra profit. You just have to manage it right, make it organized, and take your time. Um, it's a pretty interesting thing. I haven't really dealt with dropshippers much. I've dropshipped a few games um, probably last year, and the profit margins were terrible. I made like $0.10 cents a game or something. It was such a waste of time. It, there was no reason for it. And if you look, most drop shippers are already being used on eBay. So you have to like compete with the profit margin that's already low. So then you end up making a few pennies on each sale. So you really have to do high volume sales to even make it worthwhile. And then with that comes a million other things you have to deal with. So that's the gist of drop shipping. You essentially play the middleman. And uh, you do not ship or package anything. All you do is list. And forward a sale over. That's all you do. But, um, you know, you have to deal with the customer complaints. You have to deal with that kind of stuff. The drop shipper doesn't usually accept returns. They don't deal with complaints. They don't care that they're making you look bad. They already have their money in their pocket. So you have to really watch out and be careful if you're going to go the drop shipping route. Now, with that being said, um, <clears throat> very soon I'm going to do the video on what I do with a product from start to finish. Um, I'm going to start it tomorrow because I'm getting a load of wholesale in, like comic book mugs and glasses and memorabilia. So I'm going to use some of that for the video. It's going to take a couple weeks to get up, I'm sure, because I'm pretty busy. But I'm going to get working on that. And the last video, I believe, was my business process. Like I said, I didn't even know exactly what that meant. But I'm going to show you how I do my accounting, how I do my bookkeeping, and that kind of thing. So... Um, thank you for watching. I hope I explained what dropshipping was a little more detailed. I mean, it's a pretty simple concept, really. 
Um, it's just a matter of if, if it's right for you or not. And most people, it probably isn't because, I mean, I personally just don't like not being in control of things. So it, I will never do it. It's not going to work for me. I would rather just have the product on hand, put the money up front and deal with it. Um, and, and that way, you know, I get to deal with my customers. I write them little notes and stuff here and there. And I just like being more personable to my customers, um, rather than just some business entity. Um, if I had any piece of advice for you, it would be don't make yourself a business, you know, be your business, be caring, be a person. People like that. They want to be cared for. They want you to, you know, write them a note when they come back a second time or call them and thank them for buying from you. They want personable people. They don't want, a, you know, a giant corporate robot. There's a million of those out there already. There's already a bunch of corporations that don't care about you. So be caring, and that's how you can be different. But with that being said, guys, have a good night. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon.